Hi! We are going to learn how to make arrows today using 20 gauge or 16 gauge. I did this one with a drill and I did this one with my hand and I used a hammer and bench block. So stay tuned. It's coming right up. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have your coffee and you're ready to watch something. I have never done this before. So let's see if we can do it. I've got two 20 inch pieces of copper wire that are 10 inches long. And we're going to play with my triangle shaped wubbers. So I'm going to try to find the center here and we're going to place it. We're going to place it right here. Now what I want to do is I want to get this a sharper point. So you just take your flat nose pliers and you just pinch it back and forth until you get the angle that you want. Bend that slightly that way, bend this one slightly this way. And we're going to do the same thing. So we've got somewhat of a diamond shape here. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one. Only we're not going to use the wubbers because I only have that one size and I want to make it smaller than that. So what I did was I just gripped it at the five inch mark. Right there. I'm going to come over just a hair. Okay, and now we're going to push that just like that. And now the putsy part, or the futsy part, whatever you want to call it, we need to get that a little sharper. We want this to fit right inside that diamond shape. So now what I need to do is find the point right there and give that a bend. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, that fits in there really good. So now what we need to do is we need to elongate this. I'm going to slide this in to my drill bit, a drill, not drill bit. And this is going to bend it out of shape. Now we're going to hold this okay we're done with that and we got bent out of shape really bad so I'm going to bend that back out Straighten that wire. And we lost our, we lost our symmetry here. And this is too long, so I'm going to take this out about to there. Let's go a little further. So 
So let's play with this a little bit here. So now I, I kind of want these to be a little bent like this. But I'm just going to straighten them out uh, just a just a hair. Bench block and our hammer. This is a Fritz. It's a con cave. It's got a dome on it. It's not flat. So I'm just going to lay this here. Gently tap it. It's going to give it some strength. It's going to work hard in it. And I'm trying to stretch it out. So what I'm doing is I'm coming down and pulling at the same time. But I'm letting the weight of the hammer come down, pull. I'm going to flip it over. Okay. Now what I want to do is... Where's my cutters? I want to cut these off. I'm not going for symmetry. I don't want them to be all the same length. Now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and hammer the whole thing, the thing here, but I want that to be nice and round. Nice and sturdy. Feeling to make sure that there's no rough edges. You can make this as short or as long as you want. You could do it with one wire and do it with 16 gauge. Let's see, do I have any 16 gauge? I wonder if I can do this by hand with a 16 gauge. Oops, getting out of hand. I'm going to just gently hammer this because if you hammer something that's twisted or woven, you're going to create stress on the wires and it's going to weaken it in space areas, which could cause it to break. You want to feel the wire to see if there are any burrs or if there's something on there that's poking or scratching you as you rub your finger on it. You want to file that.
I don't like that right there. We're going to see if we can fix it. What do you think, guys? Pretty simple video this week. No wire weaving involved. One or two pieces of wire that is 10 inches long. And then you cut off what you don't want. Make them the size and length you want. You can make these as big or small. I think they're cute. Something quick and simple. You could even attach a jump ring here if you wanted and turn it into a pendant all by itself. But There you go, guys. Thanks for joining, and I hope you come back next week so that you can see what we do with them. Okay, thanks. Be sure to check out the description box, and thank you all so much for uh, watching and joining me. I really appreciate it, and like, subscribe. That's a great way to support me without spending any money, and we will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.